Good evening, friends. It is just about 6.30, and I just got back from a nice long walk. Good hour walk with my friend, and I thought for my last night here before I leave town again for another five days, I thought I would bring you along on my cozy self-care evening. It even looks like it's gonna rain, which really is just adding to it, like a summer storm. Mm. Before we get cozy, though, I am gonna do a quick 10-minute ab workout while I'm still kinda like sweaty and gross. I will be doing my ab workout from the floor on my carpet. Success, we have done it. Only slightly very painful, <laughs> but I feel good. I'm glad I did it. I'm gonna do a quick rinse because I feel gross. And we're throwing in the robe. It's robe time, which means the cozy night commences now. Cheers to our self-care evening. I'm so excited and the robe is making me feel so good. It's a big oversized robe. I mean, clearly. Mm. I love a little sparkling beverage now, especially in a wine glass. Like it's just elevated. Tonight's sparkly drink, we have coconut pineapple bubbly. This is so insanely good. And I mixed in a little bit of this coconut, Molokai coconut bai. If you know, you know, this is my favorite thing ever. I love mixing this with stuff. It's just so yummy. The question is now, what am I making for dinner? I have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here and I could make, I don't know. I gotta get through some stuff before I leave tomorrow, like my tofu. I have these tomatoes. We can definitely finish those. Some spinach. Ooh, I have an avocado in here. Carrots. We're just gonna make a mishmash, I think. I honestly love a mishmash. Sometimes they're really good. I have bocconcini pearls, little cheese balls. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those. I'm not really sure what I'm doing at all. So, what do I have? What do I have? I have wontons. I do love a good wonton. I made a very random wonton y dinner last week or something. That kind of sounds good, but that doesn't need the tofu. Hmm. Like these kind of slap. These mini wontons. The chicken and cilantro. And then maybe I do. Okay. And some broccoli. Mind the mess. It's actually not so bad. So I had Jill staying with me for the last five days. She left yesterday. We actually did keep it pretty clean. We're really good at putting our dishes in the dishwasher right away. So it's not so bad. I just got you know, pots and pans and other shit kind of piling up. So we will tackle that tonight before I leave tomorrow. But I'm gonna make the random concoction that I made last week. So broccoli, as well as edamame. I think I might throw some carrots in there just for the sake of it. Spinach, peas, and then the wontons. Super easy. Oh, maybe I'll, you know what? I'll use these for a salad tomorrow. Right now, I just want some good old comfort food and this screams comfort food to me. Broccoli. Mame, a little bit of olive oil. So we're just gonna let this defrost, cook it up a little bit in the pan. Then we're gonna throw in the carrots and the spinach, and then we're gonna make a little sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, that might be as much as we're gonna get out of this spinach. It's kind of gross. While that's cooking down, I'm gonna put my wontons in the microwave. Could boil them, but that would require me cleaning my pots, <laughs> and I simply don't want to. So I'm going to wet two paper towels, and then I'm just gonna lay them on. I'm gonna lay them on there. And then I wet the other one, and we stick it in the microwave, like so. And then we'll do the sauce. The sauce is from a recipe that I saw on Instagram, actually. We have soybean paste, tahini, soy sauce, minced garlic, ginger, rice vinegar, and lastly, we have a chili onion crunch. I've done this a few times now, so we're really gonna wing it, but we're doing like a tablespoon of both of these, as well as a tablespoon of soy sauce. I don't know, you know what? I have somebody that likes to taste as I go and then kind of add what I feel like it's needed. And that's what we're doing today. We're just gonna combine that. It kind of looks weird, I'm not gonna lie, but it tastes good and that's what matters most. Yum. Okay, I can't tell if this looks so yummy or if it's like just because I know what this tastes like or if it looks like dog food. Both options seem completely valid. Like I can't say that looking at this, I'm like, wow, this looks like the most delicious thing I've ever seen in my life because it simply does not, well maybe it does. It's that time of the night. It smells good, I'll tell you that. Normally I try not to eat on the couch, but as you can see, we were eating on the couch. So we just covered it. And because it's already like this, I'm going to eat down there. The vibes down here, immaculate. I love it down here. But for fun, I'm actually going to change this to blue because it's just better. It's just vibier and amazing. I'm just gonna throw on something really fast, like something, like a little 20 minute or because I gotta get in the bath. 
It has been too long since I've had a bath and I am so excited. I will be coming back for the rest of the kitchen later, but for now, we're gonna refill our little drink. We're gonna bring it to the tub. I also think we're gonna do like a little face mask, just like the ultimate self-care evening. Bath is filling up. We are doing a face mask. It feels right. Perfect. Every time I do this mask, it is so messy because I do it in my hands. So this is the Indian healing clay. It's just like a really well-known clay mask. I pour a I pour a little of my hand like that and you mix it with water and then you put it on your face. You know, it does make sense to use a bowl for this, but I always just do it the hard way. <laughs> or maybe this is the easier way. Well, it's probably not easier, but at least this way I don't have to clean a bowl. <laughs> just my hand. And I like that. I like to leave this on while the bath is filling up. And then by the time it's done, I can take this off and just relax. Here we have it. I want to finish my book before we leave tomorrow. So I'm reading um, Once More With Feeling by Alyssa Sussman. She wrote one of my favorite books of the year, which was called Fun You Should Ask. I loved that book. I'm 32% done and I don't think, I have three and a half hours left of the book. I think I'll spend the next 45 minutes reading in the bath and then maybe you can get like an hour and a half before I go to sleep. We'll see. And then maybe on the drive up to the cottage tomorrow, there are options. But I want to finish it because I'm starting a new book tomorrow with Jill. We're going to start every summer after. It takes place in Muskoka and that's where we're going. And it only feels right to read that book when I'm actually in the location that I'm reading about. Like that's so fun. Such a fun opportunity. But I don't like stopping in the middle of books. I just don't do that. Even if I don't like the book, I usually try to get through it. I don't like unfinished books just sitting there. Like it kind of bothers me. If I have to do that, I will be fine. <laughs> it's really not the end of the world. Also, my face started to get hardened. So we're just going to stop talking, let it harden, rinse it off in the bag. I'm also gonna wash my hair and do a hair mask. This seems like the right thing to do in a bath, you know? Best feeling in the world, getting out of a nice, well needed bath. Oh my god, I also made like a pretty good dent in my book, which is awesome. That was so nice. Oh, honestly, that bath made me kind of look forward to winter. I feel like that's wrong to say while well, it's still summer. I mean, it's August now. Kind of like the last month, I can look forward to the fall and my soup season. You know what, we're just taking all the seasons and appreciating them for what they are. I'm gonna try not to think too far in the future. <laughs> I really am still thoroughly enjoying summer, but like the thought of a cozy winter, not so bad. Throwing in the Olaplex Bond Smoother Number no. 6 Leave-In Reparative Styling Cream. And we're gonna brush it out with my Dyson attachment because I don't know where my brush is. Somewhere in one of my suitcases and I have lead things pile up. I have three bags that need to be unpacked that I have not unpacked because there's just simply been too much going on. And we're gonna pack tomorrow. And then when I'm back from this weekend, I have literally not a plan like to leave the city, not even one. And that feels really good. So then I can finally unpack and get into a decent groove here, which I'm really looking forward to. Let me know what kind of things you do on a little self-care night. It's the best. Gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and then we're gonna come back and blow it out, do some skincare, and honestly, just keep chilling the fuck out. <laughs> okay, PJ time. I have been loving this little set. I don't know where it's from. I got it a while ago. That's like the perfect little summer PJ set. It's light, it's comfy, it's cute. We're back downstairs though because I'm going to take care of this before I don't feel like doing it. It's 10 50 because I ended up on FaceTime while I was waiting for my hair to dry. And now that we're nearing 11 p.m. it is past my bedtime. We're gonna tackle this in the next five. Set five minute timer. the timer beeped therefore even better four minute clean not too shabby i'm actually gonna make a cup of tea i haven't done this in forever but it just sounds so nice maybe i am kind of excited for the fall maybe i can't deny it but i'm gonna make it my lazy way
My tea is also pretty organized. <laughs> for someone that doesn't drink a lot of tea, this is a lot of tea. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, bedtime tea. I haven't had this in so long. I could have taken my kettle out, but I, you know, sometimes it's just nice to do it the lazy way, and that was today. 11 p.m. just calls for that. It's a little later than I meant for it to be. Something else I love doing with my tea is adding a little bit of creamer. It just takes it up to the next level, I swear. It's like a little creamy dessert. This is the Califia Farms French vanilla flavor. It's pretty good. Love having all my lights linked to my phone so I don't have to turn them off when I go up the stairs because otherwise I'm a little scared. I'm only slightly scared of the dark, like slightly. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> also, this brand has cute little sayings on all the tea bags. Balance of head and heart yields strength of character. Love that. It's time to dice in my hair and blow it out. I like doing it at night so that I wake up and it looks right. Sometimes it looks a little crazy when it's like freshly done. I like to let my hair air dry like 70% before I do anything to it just to help with the heat. Actually, speaking of, I'm gonna use the Olplex number seven bonding oil. This is actually a heat protectant, so now we're ready. <laughs> 1104. Let's see how long this takes. So 10 minutes. This is what I'm saying. It's pretty big. Like what decade do I think I'm in? Anyways, we're gonna let that fall while I sleep and do our skincare. This is one of my favorite things that I have in my bathroom. Like I love, 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 love this. I love the colors. Like it just brings me joy. I think tonight we're gonna go for this advanced night repair as well as this Tatcha Indigo overnight repair mask. Actually, I don't know if this is a mask, but I do like it a lot. But we're gonna start with this Laneige toner. So my all time favorite thing that I prioritize with my skincare is moisturizing. If I'm doing like the simplest of simple skincare, it's gonna be just moisturizer. It is my number one. I just feel like it makes such a difference in my skin. And this toner is new. It's like a toner mixed with moisturizer. I don't know how it works, but it feels really nice on skin. I really like it actually. Then we're gonna go in with my serum. Bring it down the neck and the chest. I always bring down my product to the neck, but I need to get better at bringing it down to my chest. I'm getting close to the 30s and I gotta be better. <laughs> I also saw somewhere to like kind of smack it into your face and it helps I don't know, your skin absorb it. I've also been seeing a lot of gua sha TikToks lately, so I've been trying to get more into it and incorporate it into my routines. Honestly, I forget this most days. Like I just, <laughs> but while I'm here and doing my skincare, we're gonna do it. Although if I'm honest, I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Either way, it feels really nice. I think it's really pretty. Just like this little crystal one. Topping all of that off with the thick moisturizing cream. Beautiful. I'll take my contacts out and then we're crawling into bed. It's time. You know, when I first started doing my nails, it was really hard to take my contacts out. Like there have been days where I'm really struggling, but for the most part, I've gotten used to it. But I do, honestly, this is kind of weird when I have like a finger break off and I can actually just take my contacts out normally. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I could never stop with the nails because it's just like a simple little luxury that makes me feel really good all the time. You know what I also love? Bedtime. My tea should also be the perfect temperature. Let's see. Yes. Mm. Lately, I've also been loving putting this sleep spray on my pillows. It's just like a lavender and vanilla. This is so nice. I'm telling you, this is like a low-key game changer. When I lay down to go to sleep and I smell this, it like puts me to bed. In combination with my tea, it's gonna be a sound sleep. And to finish off with the cozy vibes, we gotta go blue. Ooh, maybe that was too blue. Okay, we're going light purple. This is the ultimate vibe. This is it for me. My skin feels slicked. She's moisturized. She's ready for a weekend in the sun. This kind of night is exactly what I need before I go away and like sleep in another bed. If you know me and you've been watching for a while, you know how much I love and cherish my bed. Knowing I'm gonna sleep in a different bed tomorrow night, I have to have the perfect night with my bed. It's like a relationship, me and my bed, honestly. It is my favorite thing to come home to. <laughs> I 
at the end of a day or a trip, like just bed. Gonna get back into my book, although I don't think I'm finishing it. I feel like there's almost no way, but I'm gonna read for like the next hour, crazy late night for me, like, well, 12.30. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Really excited for this upcoming weekend at the cottage. It's gonna be a really, really good time. Excited to bring you along. We're gonna have a whole cottage vlog on Tuesday. But until then, I love you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next. Good night.